Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making what? A French onion roast, honey, with a bacon gravy. Child, gonna be soft and delicious. I am using today my French picnic salt that I love and adore from beautifulbrineseed.com. Let me tell you something. Susie, girl, this sea, this salt, I said this sea, Lord help me. This salt is the bomb. Let me tell y'all, they have so many wonderful salt and specialty sugars over there at beautifulbrineseed.com. Baby, go over there and check them out. Link will be in the description box below. But honey, look at all them herbs and that salt and how coarse it is and beautiful honey stopped up we're gonna make a stopped up day with this roast so what i'm gonna do now is i'm taking my chuck roast that i got from the store you can use a tender roast or whatever kind of roast that you want i'm going to do what first pat it down and remove the moisture so we can get a nice sear on it but honey i gotta take my french picnic salt baby this salt is delicious y'all oh did you sell them herbs up in there it's delicious and we are going to sprinkle the salt on top of the meat honey get it up in the creases and the crevices okay season it real good as you can see i'm just taking my time honey and i because i want y'all to see how coarse the salt is and how you know how it looks on the meat and things like that and it just looks so good i'm telling you it's great on fries mashed potatoes vegetables just check them out y'all they have so many wonderful things over there at beautifulbrineseed.com and i'm going to add my favorite thing to use off of beef honey it's the msg beef bouillon yes that's what's gonna make everything all sopped up and delicious and good honey sprinkle this up in there honey and pat it down up in there it's a big old piece of meat honey it could take it <laughs> you know what i'm talking about now let's flip it over y'all and let's add some more seasoning we got a season both sides because we what <laughs> we eat both sides okay so i'm gonna put my beef bouillon on there and i'm gonna add my french picnic salt on there too and i'll make sure i get all of the sides and everything too season it real good y'all so now i'm going to take my dutch oven if you want to put this in a crock pot you surely can you don't have to do this step just put everything in a crock pot add your beef stock and let it go for what it know babe but today i want to get everything all sopped up so i'm going to sear the roast in butter and oil it's going to kind of open up the membranes of the beef it's going to get a nice crust on the outside it's going to make it so so delicious so i've added a half a cup of olive oil and about a half a stick of butter we want to let that get nice and bubbly i am on medium high heat right now and it gets nice and bubbly like that then you want to add your roast to the pot okay add it to the pot if you don't have a dutch oven like me you have cast iron you can use any cast iron skillet honey and just cover it with a little bit of foil honey keep it moving child anybody got time okay so we're going to sear it for five minutes then we're going to flip it over just like that y'all don't that look good and you see what that nice crust how that roast got that nice crust on there from that salt that we used that french picnic salt baby that's so good so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a little bit of onion honey because it's a french onion roast so you can't have no french onion roast child without the onion okay these onions gonna cook down baby and get sopped up too so i add my onions to that and then i'm gonna add my beef stock to that okay and that's all that's all y'all so make sure you check the description box too below because i have everything in there so i'm gonna place my lid on there and i'm gonna sit it in a 325 degree oven for about four hours like i said you can use the crock pot if you want to if you don't have a lid just add a little bit of foil to it if you're using your cast iron and then just let it cook and just want to let you guys know why you waiting on your roast cook baby my all of my cookbooks are on sale for 50 percent off and so talk you stop home so look y'all as you can see we have let it cook about three and a half hours or so almost four hours and it's nice and tender look at that just like that <laughs> baby you don't need no tea for this beef baby okay look at that look at them onions and got all cooked down honey and sucked up in that old jus down there baby that's what i'm talking about so now we want to add our thickener to this to thicken up the um the beef stock that we have we're going to add cornstarch and water i just mixed together in a little cup honey i ain't got time baby we're doing all this stuff okay mix it together in a little cup and pour that on top of the beef okay and just push it down up in there yeah let's see like i'm doing pushing it down and what we're going to do is pour that in there and we're going to let it continue to cook for about 10 minutes and look it gets nice and thick and that's how we have that great great gravy so i'm going to add some chopped cooked bacon that i have you could just put your bacon in the microwave baby you don't want to cook it on the stove you ain't got time baby pop that mic that bacon in that microwave baby it could be pre-cooked baby i don't care baby long as it's good okay just chop it up just throw it on in there the reason why i didn't throw it in there earlier is because i didn't want the bacon to get like i want to stay crispy okay so now it's time to plate it up y'all we ready baby i got these smoked gouda mashed potatoes out now this recipe for these mashed potatoes in my cookbook so make sure you go and get it on over there so talk and these smoked gouda, gouda mashed potatoes and baby we're gonna take this good old sopped up roast with that bacon gravy <laughs> you know what we're gonna do 
Okay. We're gonna make some shake, baby. <laughs> baby, this roast gonna make uh make it make you holler for a dollar, baby. Do some strange for a little piece of change. Okay, once you eat this, look at that. Look at all that bacon up in there. Look at all that, baby. Huh. <laughs> make sure you check out beautifulbrinesea.com, baby. Get your salt honey, get it all sopped up, baby. But listen, y'all can't tell me God ain't real after looking at this, baby. Look at this. <laughs> Baby, I'll check you guys later, honey. Make sure you check out the description box for all the links and the details below. See you next time, y'all. Bye.